I'm Angel and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be so, so exciting because I have a massive Ulta haul. Now this is not like one trip. This is things that I've kind of just been collecting the past couple months and I'm really excited to try them out but I figured I would make it a haul because I have so much stuff now. <laughs> Didn't initially start off with this much but I'm just gonna go through it and I figured this would also be a good reminder for me to be like, hey Angel, you have all this stuff, use it, test it out, let everybody know what you love and what you didn't love. You know what I mean? Us sisters gotta help each other out. We're just gonna get into it. I'm not gonna ramble too much. There is a lot of like repetitive products. Just a heads up. If you'd like to see what I got at Ulta, then just keep watching. I'm just gonna pull out products randomly. It's not gonna be in any particular order. I'm gonna tell you why I'm excited to try it or why I bought it or why I repurchased it. Kind of those kind of deals so you guys can get an idea. And then if you guys see anything that you want me to do any particular video on, let me know in the comments below. So I bought three of these Mario Badescu. Mario, Mario Badescu. Oh my God. I'm having such a hard time saying it. But I got three of his facial sprays. Now I love these facial sprays. They just came out with these two, the lavender and the cucumber, but this is the OG and I love this one. I love the facial sprays because I feel like they just, they really refresh my skin and they make my skin feel so nice. Now this is not gonna be like a makeup setting spray. Like you could set your makeup with this, but it's not going to extend the longevity of your makeup. I just personally like it, like for the lavender one, I use this one before bed, I use this one in the morning, and then this one, sometimes I'll toss it in my purse. This is the big mama size, and I'm so excited that they came out with the really, really jumbo sizes because I bathe in these. They're pretty inexpensive too, so I really, really like these. I'm so excited that there's new scents, new sizes. It's just all exciting all around. The next thing I see in here, I got these two CoverGirl Outlast all day concealers. I wanted to try these out because it says all day and I need product that's gonna last all day. I'm not one of those girls that like touches up makeup throughout the day like I don't got time for that so I was really curious to try it and I also don't really try a whole lot of product from CoverGirl in particular not for any reason but it's kind of just one of those brands that I feel like I overlook and I'm not really sure why. So I saw this and um, I figured I would just give it a go. I got it in the color Fair and Light Medium. I was really curious too because if you look at the applicator, if you could see it through the packaging, it's like a little like sponge. Oh, it says it shows right here. Can you see it? That's what the sponge applicator looks like. And I'm not really one of those kind of people who like that kind of application either or applicator. I'm really curious. I feel like this Outlast collection at CoverGirl, I feel like a lot of people really like it, so I figured why not? I'll give it a go. Next thing I see in here is the Makeup Revolution Soap X Ultra Eyeshadow Palette. And just I've seen it on the Ulta website for a while. And I was really hesitant to buy it for whatever reason. I'm really excited. I really was curious because these colors, just look at them. They're so fun. They're so fun. And I haven't touched it yet. Should I swatch? It's too late. It's happening. Wow, these are really soft. Whoa! Do you see that? That's, and it comes with a massive, massive, massive mirror. Um, the little sheet has the names on it. I'm not really like a big fan of this. I wish that they would either just have it on the back of the palette. So I'm really excited. I didn't even touch it until today and I'm so excited! Ah! Alright, so the next thing in my little basket of goodies is also another Makeup Revolution from that same collection. It's a highlighter palette and it's just, it's so cute. I am all about palettes in general. Ugh, I'm gonna just destroy the packaging. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I hate, I can't. Like sometimes it's just, it's too hard. It's the same really sleek packaging and it comes with so many different highlighter shades. Oh my God, can I open it? It comes with so many different highlighter shades. Like this lavender one is speaking to me. Wow, this has like the same consistency as those eyeshadows. Do you see that? <gasps> so I've bought two brushes. I'm not really like a brush buyer. Like brushes don't excite me. But I saw these two and I was like, <gasps> like I need you. Like I just instantly needed it. So I got this Real Techniques 
Prep Complexion Blender Brush, and it looks really cool for, it has, it says like moisturizer and foundation, so I don't know if maybe you put your moisture on, your moisturizer on with the brush. I put my moisturizer on, I put, oh my god, why can't I say moisturizer right now? I just put my moisturizer on with my hands, like I don't need a special brush. I really wanted to try it for foundation. I am really about sponges for applying my foundation and I've yet to find a foundation brush to apply my foundation with. I have a couple in my collection that I use on occasion but they're not my favorite. I feel like I always end up going over my foundation with any kind of beauty blender type of sponge anyways. It, I thought it was really interesting because do you see? inside of that there's like a little circle-y thing in there it is really soft it's really soft it's not as dense as I thought but hopefully it works well because I'm like on a mission to find my perfect foundation brush and I feel like I've tried a lot of them out there and none of them like do it for me so the second brush that I bought is this Japanese 150 degree point eyeliner and I just saw this because it just looked so sharp and pointy like it would just like you know, my eyeliner, my gel eyeliner, or anything. I have eyeliner brushes, but I don't have like a holy grail eyeliner brush or something that gets it like really, really sharp. And then I bought these two foundations, and I know it was like causing controversy through the whole internet, but I tried not to watch those videos because I wanted to form my own opinion myself about it. And I got the Tarte Shape Tape hydrating foundation and the matte foundation. Um, I got the color light neutral and the matte foundation in fair beige and the hydrating one. For one, I'm really kind of peeved that I had to get two different colors. Like the colors didn't translate from the matte to the hydrating foundation. It was really hard for me to find my shade. I'm pretty fair myself and I feel like a lot of these were really dark or they're really pink undertoned and that's 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 not me, okay? I'm like olivey, yellowy undertone, and a lot of them were pulling really pink on me, so I'm hoping that these ones will work out. Um, the next two things I got, I got Neutrogena, um, I think this is the hydrating one, the hydrating makeup removers. Normally, I don't really buy Neutrogena makeup wipes, not because I don't like them, but because I just honestly get the ones at Walmart that come in the two pack that are like $8, and it comes with like a million makeup wipes, so I think it's a little bit more like bang for your buck but I was getting five times my points on Neutrogena when I bought these particular ones so I bought both of them and I got the hydrating one because again my skin is really really like finicky right now and it feels really dry and tight so I just I need as much moisture as possible and I actually opened one of them yesterday because I just could not be bothered to like actually wash my face which is terrible by the way don't do that actually wash your face but I was really lazy and this stuff is like no joke it was so good and what got me to buy this one is that it said it even removes waterproof mascara and that's something that I so struggle with I struggle with getting my waterproof mascara off and this was like no fuss no muss it just got it straight off so now we're getting into kind of some more of the repetitive things I have a couple more concealers let me just grab them all I got two makeup revolution conceal and define concealers now the oh my god everybody was going crazy over these and making videos on them and again I didn't watch them everybody was comparing them to the Tarte shape tape because of like how big the doe fit applicator was it's like enormous but I'm gonna open it and see what the dealio is I got it in the shade um, C3 and C1 I kind of wanted C2 okay so that's what the doe fit applicator looks like I feel like it's not as big I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger it's not as chubby if that's that's the right way to describe it. it's not as chubby it's more thin and long like I said I'm on the hunt for like my perfect concealer and I do like the sh uh, the tart I want to say shart I really really am trying very hard not to say shart but the tart shape tape I do have that in my collection and I do like it but I can't use it underneath my eyes it's just way too heavy and I use it to pop pot I use it to spot conceal but I feel like it just breaks up weird on my skin like it just overall I've tried it I've tried it over and over again and I really 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 want it to work for me but it just doesn't especially because everybody and their mom loves it 
it makes me sad that it's like not really working for me. Very last concealer, I promise. This is the Bare Minerals Pro, uh, Bare Pro 18 Hour Full Coverage Concealer. And this is just what the packaging looks like. This was kind of like an impulse buy. I bought it because I passed it. There was like a little display at Ulta. And this is just what it looks like. There was like a little display at Ulta and I touched it and it was really, really thick. But not, it was thick, but it was moisturizing, if that makes sense. Again, like I'm not really into like these kind of foundation like applicators. I'm really, I have high hopes for this one. And I got it in the color Fair Light Warm and it looks pretty, pretty good. All right, what else is in here? I got some different eyeliners. So, again, I'm just on the hunt for like my perfect everything, my holy grail items. And I think that's just where I am in life. <laughs> so right now I'm looking for the perfect nude liner for me. My favorite one right now is the ColourPop Honey Dude Eyeliner. The only thing with that is, is I feel like it's the product is so flimsy in the packaging. Like all of my ColourPop eyeliners have broken in half and broken in half again and again. And then I just end up with like a little nub and it's so hard for me to use. So that really like peeves me, but I still use it because it's just my favorite. I just, I love the way that it looks on my eyes. But I found these two nude liners. And by the way, I feel like nude eyeliners are so hard to find. I feel like it's either white or like beige or like a champagne color. And I just I just want a nude, okay? So I got the, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Last waterproof eyeliner. I feel like I tried a while back ago an eyeliner from L'Oreal. can't remember what the name of it was, but I really liked it. So that's why I got it. I got it in nude and then I got it in black because I, my favorite, favorite, favorite black eyeliner is the Marc Jacobs one. Like holy grail ride or die. I'm never going to be like without it, but I figured I'd try and find like a drugstore option. That's the reason why I bought the black one. So hopefully, I feel like those will be good. I usually like L'Oreal eyeliners, but I just need to make sure that it's gonna last in my waterline, like not gonna move anywhere. And then the other eyeliner that I got is a nude one as well. And this is the NYX Always Keeping It Tight Eyeliner. And it came in this like big box. So I got this one because I thought, oh my God, it's so thin. Like look how thin this pencil is. I bought this one because I prefer retractable pencils and those L'Oreal ones are, yeah, I have to sharpen them. All right, what else, what else do I got in here? Um, I got two Dose of Color lipsticks now, or two Dose of Color liquid lipsticks. Now, these aren't the only two that I've bought this month. I feel like I've bought almost all of them <laughs> this month because I just, I don't know why I was like so late to this bandwagon of Dose of Color, but I love their liquid lipsticks. They are my absolute favorite. They're so comfortable on the lips. I have like become so obsessed with them. It is insane. If I find something that I love, I'm gonna own it in every single color because I don't wanna ever be without it. But these are the two that I just haven't opened yet. I got the color Truffle and Stone, and I know those are pretty popular ones. All right, I got, we're, we're dwindling down here. There's less product in here, but there's still, there's a good amount. The next thing I got is the uh, Soap & Glory One Heck of a Blot Primer. I wanted to get, you know, a more mattifying primer, especially for summer when it gets really, really hot, or just in general. I work in retail, I, I, I sweat at work. It's disgusting, I know, but it's the truth. And I just need to stay as matte as possible. Otherwise, I just, I look really shiny. I don't wanna be like, sweaty looking so I like to control where I shine and again I'm not one of those girls that touches up during the day so I'm not gonna powder my face if I look shiny I'm just gonna kind of just deal with it so I figured I would get this one I know a lot of people really like this and I like soap and glory the brand anyway so I'm sure that this will be a good one for me and then I got three eyebrow products I got two of the NYX uh, precision brow pencil and I got it in the color ash brown and taupe um, I prefer my eyebrows to be a little bit more ashy than my hair. That's just personal preference. And I feel like I go through eyebrow pencils so often. I don't know why. I don't even like eyebrows. Like, I hate doing my eyebrows. I haven't tried these ones. I have the other ones. I can't remember what they're called, but they don't look like this. This one has like a pointy end with like the color on it. I just, I want to find one that's inexpensive. I really like the Benefit Precision Brow Pencil. I really like that one. 
um, but I feel like the color is still like not exactly what I want so I kind of want to venture out there and see what other colors what other brands and then I got this thing from Maybelline this is the tattoo studio waterproof brow gel now I didn't realize that this was a gel when I bought it I thought it was something else all right dwindling down I got three more things in here three more things I got the Maybelline Total Temptation Very Black Eyeliner, um, and this is the waterproof one, I believe. I'm into waterproof mascara right now. I don't know why. I've never been, but now I just really like it. I know a lot of people have really been liking this one. Um, I just haven't opened this one because I am in love with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise one, and I just got two new ones. I'm going to wait until I go through that before I even open this, because I just... <sighs> Oh my god, I have butterfingers. Then, one of the, I got two more things in here and they're both from Catrice. They just put Catrice in my actual Ulta and I'm so excited about it. I know everybody loves Catrice. You could usually get it only online at Ulta but now it's actually in stores. I got two things that I'm really excited about. I got the Prime and Fine Instant Line Smoother. Now I bought this because um, I used to use this NARS product and it used to be in like a tube like this and it had an applicator like this um, Bare Minerals Concealer and I, I would just put it in like my fine lines, I put it around here, um, I have this one predominant right here and I it would just fill it in, it would fill it in, makeup wouldn't settle in there and as I'm getting older I'm realizing that you know, things are starting to settle in places that I really don't like. I was on the hunt for that and I can't find it anymore. When I saw this, that's exactly what it reminded me of, except for the applicator is different. It has like a little doe foot applicator, um, but it's like the same kind of color. You just put this, you can even use this under your under eyes is what it says on the little packaging. So hopefully this can replace that NARS product. All right guys, and the very, very, very last thing I promise is also from Catrice. This is a Prime and Fine Makeup Transformer Drop in Waterproof. You heard me, waterproof. Now, it's basically, you just put this into like your foundation or your makeup and it makes it waterproof. That is so crazy. You know, I haven't seen anything like this ever before. And not that I'm like gonna go jump in a pool with like a full face of makeup on, but like I said, I work in retail, I'm running around all the time. My face gets hot, my face gets sweaty. But it's just, it's just a reality. But I figured I would give this a go. Put this into, you know, the foundations that I really, really love to begin with. Like, you know, the ones that don't budge or go anywhere. But add this in there and see if that, you know, sometimes I'm like really running around and I get like real sweaty. But sometimes, like, especially around here, like I'll get really sweaty there and even some of the foundations that I love that really don't budge, if I'm like really, really, really sweating, it still kind of breaks it up and moves it. It's not incredibly noticeable, but I can see it and I don't like that. You know what I mean? So I really want to give this a go and see if that helps on like those days where I'm like busting my ass to do things. Right now, I'm like all about base products. Like you know how sometimes you go through phases where you're like you're all about lipsticks or you're all about eyeshadows or blush or whatever. Right now I'm all about base products. So primers, concealers, foundations. Like those are the things that I'm buying right now to find my favorite perfect all around holy girl type of things. And that's what you guys are going to be seeing a lot of. Um, that's, that's why it wasn't so exciting. There wasn't like a thousand eyeshadow palettes because I have a billion of them. Alright guys, and that's going to be the end of my video. Like I said, this isn't just one big massive haul. This was like collected over the past few months. And I have low-key forgot about them because I put all of the new products I buy that I want to try out in a basket. And it's kind of more off to the side of my makeup collection so I don't necessarily like see it first thing. I really hope you enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. And also, by the way, follow me on Instagram. It's at hello, I'm Angel with three L's at the end. I will like do some kind of caption or something maybe down here. <laughs> um, definitely follow me there because that's when you guys will know when I post videos. I post videos BTW every Monday and Thursday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I think that's it. I think that's all I wanted to say. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and until next time I'll see you guys next time. Bye!